Hello everybody and welcome to some PUBG Mobile. Now of course I haven't played this game yet, but I am now. That's what counts. Ugh. Today, today's a wonderful glorious day, isn't it? I don't know what it's doing. Okay, I think it was just lagging because of the plane. Yeah, this game might lag a lot. Because it's on my phone. But you know, it is what it is, right? I guess, I don't know. And if it keeps stopping like this, then we're gonna have a problem. We have a real big problem. Anyway, this game is a hundred percent better than Fortnite. I just want everybody to know that. Even though that this is on mobile, it is still better than Fortnite. And even though it keeps freezing, it is still better than Fortnite. Like I feel like you can't deny that, honestly. I mean, come on. Well, hopefully landing soon. Of course, you have teammates in this. Um, some could easily be bots, because this game does have bots. Which, not many people do know, but that is a common fact, that this game has some bots. Which is probably why it's way easier than Fortnite. I have to... Man. Uh, this would just stop freezing. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's not freezing on your end, but it's freezing on mine. And it was perfectly fine, but it's not anymore. Yep, so just, in, just a normal day in PUBG and you, uh, yeah, just you know, running around. Apparently my narrating thing is, uh, keeps freezing and I don't know why. Looks like it's just gonna be the way it is, cause it's just that stupid fun. Yeah, I caught up with my teammate. This is kind of this is yeah. It's like I'm watching a freaking slideshow. I can't tell what's actually happening. This this is wonderful. This is what I want to be spending my morning on. Anyway, we we are clearly going to uh, this place in front of us to look for stuff. Don't blame me if I can't exactly help and tell you what's going on right now. I it keeps freezing. You know, on your end, it's fine. I understand, but on mine, it's not. I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy it for what it is, I guess. I'm gonna get shot up here. You watch. You watch me die right here, and you watch how terrible and horrible it is gonna be. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be real bad. I mean, man. I thought I had a bed before. I thought I had the bucket entirely kicked before. But now it's just going to be a whole new level. Okay, we have this car. So that's fine. It's perfectly fine. I can run here. There doesn't appear to be anything. That's just great. You know, I need a shirt for armor. I need a backpack. I need a gun. I need pants. I need some shoes. I mean, come on. Get me something. That has to be something. So let me just get it go. Oh, oh, you have to be kidding me. What? My own teammate just knocked me out because I wanted to drive the car. You know, how stupid of a person can you be? I hear gunshots. I, I don't know what's happening. My own teammate knocked me unconscious because I wanted to drive the car. You know how stupid you are? You look pretty stupid right now. Revive me before I die. Come on. This is how you do things. This is what happens. This is how the task is supposed to be played out. PUBG Mobile is not going so well for me right now. But hey, I guess it's what it is. Let's, let's drive again. Oh god. I'm down. Come on. Oh, why did that idiot help me? Oh my god, my team is useless. I'm almost dead. This this isn't good. I'm gonna die. Hmm. Save me the first time. Couldn't save me the second time. Nice. We are we are an awful, awful performing team. This is straight garbage. Now I gotta watch other people play. I don't wanna be committed to that. The stupid narrating thing just keeps freezing. I'm like you have to be kidding me. Come on. Come on, you you better run. You better run. You know what's up. 
You know what's up. Yes. Keep going forward, man. I have faith. I have faith in you. I have faith in a lot of people. Especially, especially my teammates. My teammates are gonna win this whole thing. Okay. I know I did drastically bad, and I got killed by a bot. But that's just because I didn't have a gun. If I would've had a gun, I could've killed that bot. Okay. You know, I, I have more kills in this than I have in, than I have in Fortnite. I have like 4 in Fortnite, and in this I have almost 10. I have like 8 or 9 in this. So I have practically double. So I am clearly better at this game than I am in Fortnite. Which is why PUBG is better than Fortnite. As I must reiterate. Come on, dude. Or do dead. Do something. Do something. It's like poking somebody with a stick. You gotta run. You gotta go through the whole entire process here. I wonder if I'm playing with bots. If I got bots on my team, then that's just gonna tell me, Hey, um, you need to fix a lot of things here. There's a lot of things wrong with the whole process. And I know a few things that are wrong with the process. A lot of them being is the fact that this thing keeps freezing. But you know what? It's gonna be. It's fine on your end. It's not fine on my end. Believe me, I've checked. And I guess that's the good part. When I sit back and watch this, I will realize, hey, it looks perfectly fine. As of right now, it's not fine. But at least for me, who cares? And people on my team are so far apart that they might as well not be a team. Cause that's the problem. That's the problem in PUBG. Is that nobody gets with their team and they're all spread out and I'm like what's the point of you being what is this guy doing oh okay well, like what's the point of you being in a team if your team isn't gonna stick together like if your team is just apart the whole entire time then I don't know why you are in a team but hey if you want to do some team stuff then you do some team stuff okay that isn't for me to judge that's just for you to be like hey this guy's gonna get shot, I smell it. He's gonna get shot immediately. Mm, around here. Yeah, maybe in there. Oh, there's stuff in there. I can't tell if you got it or not, because it's freezing. Okay, you did. See? See, you got lucky. And this was, I believe this was the person that was with me. If this person didn't knock me unconscious when I was driving the car, and by the way, we're a team, and this person attacked me, which made no no sense. Do they think I was gonna abandon them in the car? Does it even matter because they didn't even take the car? Like, come on. If I want to drive around in a car, then I can drive around in a car. And there was gunshots immediately after that. So what that tells me is if I would have driven that car and I could have slammed into that person, we both could have lived. This person, which I believe is person two, yes, yes it is. This person is an idiot. This person is an entire idiot because they knocked me unconscious. And where did it get them? It didn't get them anywhere. They entirely failed. They failed. I don't know what the, their purpose was. And now, uh, now they're getting shot. Actually, wait. Yeah. Wait, who, who am I right now? Who am I looking at? I'm looking at person number three now. This is a different person. This person is the one who, who screwed us both of her because person two I mean, if you look on the name thing at the top person two screwed me over I don't know who I'm spectating now because it's frozen appears to be person three still good job person three you just got a sweet kill you just got a sweet kill. I need to make a graphic that's a sweet kill. We'll get to that. Oh, somebody's getting shot up. Let me just look at this map. That red spot is where bombs are dropped to the sky to move people out of areas. Fortnite doesn't have that, and I kind of wish it did. Because if it had one of those, then people wouldn't... Like, the circle moving is already supposed to keep you out of areas. But, in... PUBG, there's a bomb that drops, so then it takes you out of areas even more. So it could help move things along and not have people hiding, which I think is necessary. And I believe H1Z1 also had that aspect, because they had zombies or whatever. In it. They had another tiny circle that had zombies come out of nowhere or whatever. 
and I feel like that was important. Yeah, and, was, and they just stayed in that tiny circle. So H one Z one started at first, and PUBG stole the idea, and Fortnite stole the idea again. Just stop stealing ideas. Like, watch something steal Fortnite. Like, and also, I have to say, over time, the more you keep stealing ideas, the worse they get. And this is the only guy left. Everybody else is dead. I wasn't even paying attention because I was busy ranting and raving about for both Fortnite and PUBG being copies. I've played all three games on my channel. I've played H1Z1, I've played this, I've played Fortnite. Can't get much better than that. But man, I remember when PUBG was actually popular. Then its mobile uprising caused it to, I don't know, spike up the slightest. And now I don't think people care anymore. But hey, that's just my opinion. I hope this guy gets it all. I mean, they have my, all, all the rest of my team is dead. And that number two dude, it's all his fault that, that I died. Because first of all, he wasn't covering me when I was in the car, when I got back to it. I put it in reverse, was shot out of the thing. That the stupid idiot didn't knock me unconscious, and believe me, that that made me upset. And to this day, I will not trust anybody when I I will not trust anybody when I'm driving a car in PUBG because trust me, I don't think you should trust anybody because I think that is one of the dumbest mistakes that one can possibly make is trusting somebody in this game. I mean, I'm just going out on a limb here. Like, you can't always trust everybody to begin with. But now, in a video game, I can't trust people even more? Like, come on. Like, you're just making things way more complicated than they were in the first place. I mean, I'm not... Who am I, who am I to talk? But, like, come on. You, you're... I don't know. This dude just has to be careful here. I mean, he has a stupid crossbow, and if he doesn't... He, if he doesn't, like, if he kills somebody and doesn't take their gun, he's just an idiot. I've already had to deal with one idiot. I don't want to deal with two. Oh, oh, here's one. Shoot him. Get his gun. Dude, you better get that gun, I swear to God. Look how long it takes to reload that thing. Congratulations, you downed him now. Get the gun, you idiot. And why aren't you using... You have a gun on your back already. You didn't pick up a gun. What is wrong with you? That gun was good. And you're continuing to use a stupid crossbow that is going to get you killed. Man, my team are complete idiots. Okay. And it's, it, it's bad enough that everybody my team has killed is a bot. And, you know, I know the guy who tried to kill me that was not a bot. How funny your car. I tried that earlier. It didn't work. I'll let somebody knock you out and then apologize or something. Watch that person number two come back to life. You know? Oh man, the red zone started. I oh mean, just look at the laggy way that the, the car moves. I mean, geez. You know, if, if, if anybody wants more of this game, it's coming soon. I'm uploading another episode of Fortnite, like, I don't know, next week. And after that, I'm probably never playing Fortnite until it until there's major changes but you'll be getting a lot more PUBG that is, that is definitely for sure that is definitely something that is going to happen I don't know how much longer I just want to sit here and watch this one specific guy because to be completely honest this one specific guy isn't too interesting and he's also an idiot and I have had my fair share of having idiots on my PUBG squad Trust me, I don't want any more idiots in my PUBG squad. If I wanted more idiots in my PUBG squad, I would have went to a kindergarten, and I would have had them all play PUBG. I mean, that's just naturally, they probably would be very good, considering the day and age it is. Back in my old kindergarten days, I didn't have, I didn't have kids shooting people up on a video game. No. I had them playing some type of weird Wii Sports Golf. That, that's exactly what happened. But you know what? All, all in all... Everything is fine, the Bullet Club's fine, and everything, every, everything's fine. I don't know what else to say. Except I'm still watching this guy. Tormenting my eyeballs. Because he can't do anything right. And he didn't take the gun. 
Unless he did, maybe that's it on his back, but I swear to God he did not take that gun. I looked with my own eyeballs, and I don't think I saw him take it. Now he's just sitting here at the crossbow. I didn't even hear any gunshots. There you go. Maybe he wasn't sitting there at the crossbow. It's just the fact my thing's frozen. My whole perspective is messed up. I'm just going to pretend that I know he's running around the house right now with a crossbow instead of the two guns he has. And he's being very, very stupid because the crossbow reload time isn't that good. And you can only shoot one at a time. I don't understand. Maybe this guy just knows everybody on here is a bot. Threw a grenade at the window. At who? Who are you throwing these grenades at? There's nobody. This guy's an idiot. This guy's a big idiot. I, I don't know how much longer I want to willingly be here. Okay. I'm just going to stop talking now. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah. Have a good day.